The Joker might arguably be among the top five sadistic villains across comics, and we all have said we would understand if Batman just, you know, offed him already. Gotham would definitely take a step in the right direction, but what would happen to him if he finally did it? In the Injustice, Gods Among Us Year 3, we get an idea of what would happen. Instead of getting a Medal of Honor and a statue in Gotham, the writer said, no, we have a better idea, let's put him in jail. Well, it was Superman's idea, but stay with us. After all the beatings he's given to random drug dealers, he goes to jail. But Superman is ready to break the law for his brother's freedom. The Injustice storyline goes, as we all know, Superman is fighting who he believes is Doomsday. Superman, can you hear me? Superman, you won't take them away from me. The Man of Steel's final words as he pushed Doomsday to the vastness of space. It was done, or was it? Superman, stop. Whatever you're seeing, it isn't real. It's Lois. It's Lois. After Scarecrow's toxin wore off, all he saw was Lois floating before him. On Earth, Joker was getting his kicks from getting Superman to kill his wife and child. He laughs it up, asking Batman did he know, and Bruce snapped. It looked like he broke his jaw from the strike he gave him. You know Joker has really gone wild when even Harley isn't going along with his antics. Clark zooms back to Earth with Lois's limp body and begs for her to be alive, and this is where the story changes. Instead of being dead, she wakes up gasping for air, changing all the events that are about to follow. Lois. Clark? Lois replies as faintly as ever. I almost... the baby. I'm okay, Clark. We're okay. The panel jumps to Lex Luthor and Superman's Justice League looking at his unconscious body. Superman was put in a dreamlike state, unable to awaken, and he was living the events of injustice the way he truly wished for it all to turn out. This is where the It Was Superman's Idea came from. What is this? I don't know. I cannot wake him. Somehow this is beyond even me, Spectre replied. Spectre is one powerful being, a cosmic entity, so if even he can't wake Clark from his trip to a perfect dreamland, then he's going to be there a while. Is he in pain? No, there is no pain. He merely dreams. I believe he is seeing what he wants to see. So here's Superman's version of how the events of Injustice would go. You, you almost took them from me. Now, now, Superman, let's not do something incredibly violent and messy that we might regret. I will not regret this. Even now, Harley is in no rush to defend Joker, but what could anyone really do when Superman gets serious? Superman also decided to expose Batman's whole identity in the process, so maybe that's why Batman low-key killed him. Superman. Move aside, Bruce. Bruce, Joker said in shock. Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, somewhere in Metropolis there's a nuclear warhead. Flash, take Harley to the Metropolis PD and then join the search. I'll take Joker back to Gotham, and I'll try to learn the location of the warhead on the way. Batman handing out missions and doing everything to keep Joker away from Superman for obvious reasons, even though Clark didn't want that. I'll question the Joker, Superman to Bruce. No, look after Lois, let me deal with him. Like you've dealt with him before? Superman, I promise you, he will never hurt you again. Superman was ready to do what honestly anyone who knows a comic book was ready to do. I wouldn't trust Bruce either after letting Joker run Rampage all these years, and all he got is prison time and some broken bones. Well, in Superman's dream, Batman finally grew up and did what needed to be done. Did you do something with the car? It seems blacker. Oh, don't give me the quiet treatment, Batsy. Joker has always known what Bruce was afraid to admit. Joker knew he was Batman's mirror and that they needed each other. He knew their song and dance and what was going to happen, and honestly, he would have been right if this was in the real world. We all know Batman would have beat him to a puddle and taken him to jail, but ultimately he would get out and do it again. I liked playing with your friend, though. I think I'll do it again. You're okay if I torment other people, right? Of course, I'll wait till their baby is born. Children scream in a way that... Finally ending Joker's monologuing, Batman just grabs him by the head and snaps his neck. The Joker never saw it coming, assuming that the Dark Knight would never break his code. As he promised Clark and deeply wished for, he dealt with him. You would think that after killing the Joker, Batman would be celebrated. Somewhere deep down, Clark believed Bruce deserved to be punished for allowing the Joker to do the amount of damage he did for so long, but he still had love for his brother. So I guess in his own twisted dream, he would punish Bruce for allowing the Joker to live, but also not putting their brotherhood above his code. 
I need to report a crime, Batman said to Gordon as Joker's body fell out of the Batmobile. Fast forward a couple of months after, and Superman had finally gotten what he's always wanted, a family. Clark reveals some of the baggage he has carried as well all these years. He finally won't be alone and have someone he can truly be himself around, not worried about hurting someone. Seeing him so vulnerable, you kind of get a deeper understanding behind him. The Joker killed his wife and child, but he also killed a deeper part of him that hoped for a true companion that understands him. Clark goes to Metropolis Prison to give Bruce updates on what's going on. I'm here to see Bruce Wayne, Superman as he flew right beyond the prison walls. Sitting right in front of Bruce with just the usual prison plexiglass separating them, Clark gave his friend the good news. I have news, Bruce. It's a girl. How did you... It was 50-50. Why did you do it? Clark started. The Joker. He almost destroyed an entire city. All of those people. And he almost took everything away from you. You killed. You went against everything you believe in. For me? Bruce confirmed that he killed the Joker to protect Superman. He was going to try again to make him suffer, and Clark realized it wasn't an act of hatred toward the Joker, but he loved his brother more. His dream state does not look like his dream life, but more how he wished his and Batman's relationship could have been. Deep down, his dreams revealed his longing for everything he's lost. However, if Bruce crossed that line, would he not just turn into another tyrant to protect Bruce and stop all who opposed him? Thank you, Bruce, he said, hugging him. With good behavior, you could be out by the time she's two. I'm not exactly behaving well in here, Clark. I'm beating up a lot of people. As this was all happening, cops are pointing guns at Superman. After all, he did just walk through a wall and, you know, his track record. Just call off the rest of the day. They don't get paid enough to antagonize Superman. Say the word and we walk out of here. See how irrelevant they are to him? Why are there even police in comics at this point? I killed a man, Clark. The Joker wasn't a man. I need to do the time. Go live your lives. The issue continues, showing the life Superman wishes he got the chance to have with his family. Watching his daughter grow up and seeing all she could have been. The dream makes you sympathize more with him, but eventually he will have to return to reality. In the meantime, this is where we will end our story. How would things be different if Batman would finally just kill Joker? How would things play out if this version of Injustice was reality? Probably the Justice League would rule the world and eventually would lead to civil issues anyway. Well, leave your thoughts below and check out this series if your only knowledge is the video game. Until next time.